Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a few moves to use first thing in the morning. This is perfect for if you wake up and you're feeling a bit dull, a bit grey, your skin feels like a little bit lacklustre and you are short of time, you just want a few moves that can just get a little bit of microcirculation to your skin and get you feeling all nice and glowy. So I've just got out of the shower. Before I show you a few morning moves, I'm just gonna do a super quick bit of skincare to prep my skin before going into that. So to start with, I'm just using the Skin & Tonic Fresh Face. This is a um, exfoliator. It's a very, very gentle exfoliator, a PHA. I've just put it on a cloth. This is one of the old Skin & Tonic ones. It is a little... Um, it is like a little bit textured, so it's probably not that good for skin that's very, very um, sensitive to friction. So I've just done that. It's This um, product is really brightening, so it's great for if you are feeling dull. January is a very dull month. Then I'm just going to go in with a little spray of the Rose Mist, which smells divine it's rose water aloe and glycerin so it's more hydrating than just pure rose water next i'm using crimson beauty this is a hyaluronic acid um with pre and probiotics it's very very light um if you are someone who suffers from kind of acne or breakouts or congestion or blackheads but you're also feeling a little bit dry, dehydrated. This is such a gorgeous product for you. You can just put an oil straight on top. So today I'm using the Oilexia Amazonian Cacay Oil. Um, this is quite hydrating. It is a richer oil, though it's not very viscous. So if you did want a bit more hydration but you hate the feeling of having like really thick product on your skin then this is a nice one for you. And I've just applied all of those to my face and neck. And then I'm going to show you some quickie moves that you can do in the morning. First, just using the flats of your hands going down either side of the neck. Next, we're going to change direction and come up. I'm showing you these pretty quickly. Of course, if you have more time, you can spend as much time as you like. Doing a little bit under the chin. Probably she should have used a little bit more oil. Drier than anticipated. Next, we're gonna create the heart shape. Thumbs under the chin, pinching here and working outwards. So this is a great multifaceted move. Although you're applying a little bit of pressure this way, the energy is kind of going out that way. Nice. Next we're going to take these parts of our third and fourth finger and briskly work upwards. So I'm going from just underneath the jaw to just underneath the cheekbone and I'm going to be moving along. Whenever you're using a fast movement like this, you need to make sure that the pressure is super, super light. If you use a hard pressure in a fast movement, you're just going to hurt yourself. So this is great if your face is feeling a bit sleepy, dull, puffy, you've just woken up and you're just feeling a bit ugh, which I always feel a bit like that throughout, you know, the rest of the winter till spring now, really. <laughs> And just moving on to the other side, working from just underneath the jaw up to just underneath the cheekbone. Already this side of my face feels like so much more alive than just a second ago. Wonderful. Next we're going to create these little claws, pop them either side of the nose and work outwards. And again, with any of these, you can spend as much or as little time as you like. This is great for decongesting sinuses. It's great for um, any puffiness under the eyes. It's also bringing a little bit of rouge to the cheeks. So you don't have to use a super hard pressure here. We're working over bone. It's not a very fatty area compared to like these bits of your cheeks. So there's no need to use a super hard pressure. The blood will come quite quickly. 
but yeah just wonderful to get a little bit of life into everything next taking the palms of our hands placing the fingertips just here we're gonna do some upwards movements again a really wonderful one for just encouraging microcirculation to the area giving everything a little bit of a lift face a lift spirits a lift mood a lift and getting ready for i mean if you're watching this shortly after we put it up getting ready for a day sat inside your house most likely but if you're watching it in the future from now hopefully you'll be able to go outside now using fingertips working from the nasolabial lines just diagonal across the cheeks up towards the temples so you're traveling from about here center of the nasolabial lines up towards the temples that's the line that you're taking Nice, keeping the fingertips exactly the same. We're just gonna work over the brows. Um, I weirdly watch people sleeping quite a lot as they fall asleep in treatments and so often clients will frown while they're asleep. So if you have been doing a little bit of frowning in the night, perhaps you have some worries on your mind, this is a nice one to just smooth everything out. And then finally, one of my favourites to do on the forehead is it's quick and easy, using the baby knuckles, just creating some friction. Again, we're using a fast movement, so we're using a light pressure. Circular motions all over the forehead, all over those frontalis muscles, helping with any lines. We carry a lot of tension here. These are big muscles, they do do a lot of work. nice and just follow up. finishing up finishing up doing this on either side of the neck again <laughs> and giving your hands a little shake i am gonna finish this by just popping on a little bit of energy high rollerball from tizerand onto the insides of my wrists and rubbing them together really lovely citrusy scent again it's just uplifting mood boosting if you are feeling low energy sluggish just popping on a little bit of lip balm your skin care after doing this is good for the day you've you've worked in your oil your skin should be feeling nice and moisturized if you feel that you need a little bit more you can now pop on a moisturizer my skin feels great if i was going to put any makeup on it would be ready to go or if I didn't want to put any makeup on I'm definitely feeling a little bit more glowy than I was five minutes ago so I hope that helps if there is anything at all that you want to see on here please let me know I love creating content for you guys so just send your recommendations this way remember to check out the workshops and the offers on this month and yeah I hope your skin is feeling glorious